I, I don't get how spiritual people or spiritual leaders or people in the spiritual world say, come, let me prepare a love portion for you. If there's actually a reality of such a thing, right? Won't the God in your neighborhood that you don't respect, you don't cherish, won't the water gods, the marine energies, the fire gods, the air gods, won't all the trees put love spells on you so that nobody cuts them down? Wouldn't Mother Nature put love portions on everybody so that nobody would ever destroy the environment, destroy the water bodies? And the audacity for somebody to say, I have a God that can give you. No God does a job like that. I'm telling you. Anybody that is telling you, I have a God, is not a God. If you call yourself a priest and you are doing that, shame on you. That is not what spirituality should be about. Spirituality should be about giving life, not taking life. Not suppressing life, not dominating life. Let's, let's stop this ridiculousness. These are the reasons why people don't even appreciate appreciate our ways. These are the reason why people don't even appreciate spirituality. Because of the wickedness of some of us, the leaders, some of us who are leading the front, some of us who are doing because of our wickedness. So, I'm taking a little break. Whew. Hard work, hard work, hard work, hard work. Full work hard. Um, so, yes, I'm taking a little break. And um, I remember a question that somebody asked me. One of our sisters asked me a question. That, um, what is wrong with um, love portions, you know? What is wrong? Is there is there anything wrong with love portions? Is it is it a good thing to go after? Is it a bad thing to go after? If you love somebody so much and you know that if you don't be with a person or take care of the person, somebody else will come snatch the the person from you, the guy from you. So what is wrong with going to the spiritualist to put a little charm in it? To put a little charm in it so that you keep your boyfriend or your relationship or your husband or what have you. So what is wrong with it? And I mean the way the case is presented is is so it's so emotional. You understand? Like you might be emotionally attached to it. So what is wrong with it? <laughs> it's kind of funny how this generation, most young ladies are all going after love portions. Okay? So what technically is happening is that you are literally going against another person's will. You're going against another person's desire, another person's will, another person's um, belief systems. That's what you're literally going after. You know what I'm saying? The way that the case is presented, it, it doesn't seem anything wrong with it. I mean, he's my boyfriend. He's my... He's, he's my boyfriend. I love him. He loves me. So what is wrong with um, putting a little spice, a little juice in the love so that no other girl can come and snatch him away from the The audacity of us, you know, human beings, to feel we have the right to own somebody. We, we, have, we have the right, you are mine. Like we can say that somebody, you are mine. I say this a property. Don't forget that that's a whole human being, right? With a kra, with a spirit. A whole human being, a whole kra with a spirit, with a mind, with a body. And all these departments are constantly communicating and conversating with the individual. But you want to take total control. Okay, let's reverse the situation, right? And you being the lady... And a guy says, you know what, she's my girl. I don't want any other guy to look at her. So let me put a love spell on him. And shame on the guys that do that as well, okay? But what most people are not paying attention to, if that is the order of nature, like nobody would have a will. The creator ensured that every single one of us has, has a will, free will. Your ability to choose, your ability to decide. Now, when you go and put that spell, and, and I, I'm not going to say anything, but 
I, I don't get how spiritual people or spiritual leaders or people in the spiritual world say, come, let me prepare a love portion for you. And you also run after it and go and chase for it. La love portion? Okay. D think about it. If you if there's actually a reality of such a thing, right? Won't the creator just put a love portion on everybody so that everybody would easily fall in love with the creator? Won't the God in your neighborhood that you don't respect, you don't cherish, won't the water gods, the marine energies, the fire gods, the air gods, won't all the trees put love spells on you so that nobody cast them down? Wouldn't Mother Nature put love portions on everybody so that nobody would ever destroy the environment, destroy the water bodies? Wouldn't the gold, the energy, the gold energy, the money energies, put the love spell on anybody so that nobody would dig thousands of feet down the earth just to search for gold? Love portions. Think about it. And the audacity for somebody to say, I have a God that can give you. No God does a job like that. I'm telling you. Anybody that is telling you, I have a God, is not a God. It's their own engineering with an energy that they've cultivated to be able to do that. That has nothing to do with any God. No God would instruct anybody to put a love portion on anybody. Right? No, no God would do that. No power in the no true essence will do that. Put a love portion on you to do what? Then the job of the God will be easy. The God wouldn't have to worry about anything. The God will just sit in the corner and say, I'm casting a love spell on everybody out there. So that everybody out there will begin to do the right thing. Why aren't the God putting a love spell so mothers don't kill their babies in the womb? Where's the love portion? Why in, why in the gods putting a loud portion on people so that people, human beings, will not kill human beings? So what is actually happening is that, think about it, like, think about this for a second. When you are putting a loud portion on a man or a woman, trying to take to, total control of the person, you are literally living with yourself. You are not living with a woman. You're not living with the person you're sleeping with. You're living with yourself because you've remote controlled the person. And what you've done is that whatever, the, whatever you desire for the person to do, the person should do it. Now, the minute you do that, you do not practice spirituality. That's a total confusion state of mind. You're not practicing spirituality. You're practicing self and self-desires and self-fulfillment. It's all about self. Your selfishness is what you have manifested into your bed. It's not a human being. And for any man that would also sit down, for any woman to put a love portion on you, for you to fall absolutely crazy in love with a woman, you joke. You're not a... You're a man and you sit down for a woman. Or you're a woman and you sit down for a man to put a love portion on you. It tells me all I need to know about you. You're playing with your life. You're, you're playing with your existence in this plane, in this dimension. Because each and every single one of us is supposed to fortify themselves. Protect yourself. Cook yourself. You are supposed to cook yourself to ensure that nobody takes advantage of you. The minute you don't cook yourself, it's your responsibility. You are in charge of yourself. So for anybody to go out there and go and put any, love, any kind of love portion on you, what you've actually done, you've allowed a human being who is also trying to find out themselves out of selfish desires, not even spiritual contest, out of self-flesh. Because anybody that is spiritual can never go anywhere and say, I want to put a love portion on somebody. It don't happen. I'm telling you, where on earth is that going to happen? It doesn't happen. So for you to actually be in a place where you put a love portion on somebody, it means you are practicing physicality, bodility. It's my own English. Nobody should take me anyway. You're practicing bodility, not spirituality. Because if you are on any part of spirituality, the first thing you practice is free will. To allow everything experience this dimension. 
to allow everything go through existentiality as their preferable choice, not by your influence. And like I said earlier on, you're literally sleeping in bed with yourself. You're having sex with yourself. But the man, the woman lying next to you is not your woman. It's yourself. You program a whole human being to become a toy, a robot system that you are literally controlling, fe feeding and programming and telling him, wake up, he wakes up. Sleep, you sleep. How is that even life? How is that even living? A majority of people who do that, they only do that because of the selfish gains, the flesh, the, the material things they will gain. Security from what? When you came into existence, did you give birth to another person? The man you are busy trying to love portion the person, the woman you are trying, you should be ashamed of yourself if you're trying to do that because you didn't give birth to the person. What if the parents that gave birth to him or her is also saying, I'm putting a love portion on my son or daughter so no other woman will fall in love with him or her? Do you understand the sickening mentality that this generation has? Because of selfishness, you want to cut the spell. Come and try it on me. I'm waiting for you. Come, <laughs> come, come and try your love portion on me. <laughs> the love portion you will try will portion you. But by the time you are done, it has portioned you and you yourself are portioning yourself and obeying everything I say. Let's detest from these things. What kind of generation are we becoming? Love portion what? You don't have confidence in yourself enough that you want to put your charm for somebody to get attracted to you. If you go into anything with a negative mentality, a negative mindset, you only went in there to get something. That is when you think like that with that mediocrity to think that, oh, I want to love portion somebody. Because you only went there. If you actually went in there to give out, if you actually went in there to give yourself, to allow yourself to become, to allow yourself, if this is why you went in there, why would you want to take anything? Because if I came in here to give all of myself and somebody else has come to take this away from me, I move on to the next person because whatever I gave in this situation, I can give in the other situation. Come on. If the mother earth should decide to put the last spell on you, what do you think your life will be? The minute you wake up, your leg is stuck in the earth. Do you understand what I'm saying? Detest from things like that. That is not spirituality. Anybody that is giving you love portions, get, telling you that, oh, I'm working it, I'm making sure that you, this man fall in love, shame on you. If you call yourself a priest and you are doing that, shame on you. That is not what spirituality should be about. Should, spirituality should be about giving life, not taking life, not suppressing life. Not dominating life. Not domineering life. That's not spirituality. Anybody that has a case, you know me, you know my details. If you have a case with what I'm saying, stop those things. You're only doing that because you want to, you want to take people's money. Tell me the God, tell me the God that told you. Reveal to me the God as a spiritual person or spiritualist. Reveal to me the God that told you you have to put the last spell on somebody. Reveal to me. The gods that you sacrifice to, the gods that you pour libation to, even them, they don't put the last portion on you. Huh? The gods you are working with, the gods that are around you, do they put last, last spells on you? If the gods you are with are not putting love spells on you, what gives you the audacity to think that you as a human being can put, can lock somebody? You, the person going for the love portion, shame on you. You, the individual that is also doing the love portion for people. I see you on social media all the time. You see, I hardly dislike to talk about things like that because people will say, oh, that's people leave them alone to do them. And I've left everybody to do whatever everybody wants to do. But when a community member comes to ask me a question like that, I'm at liberty to give an answer to the community member. Love portion. Think about it. If the creator wanted to love portion you, wouldn't everybody wake up every single day loving everything and there will be no greed, there will be no jealousy, there will be no envy? Why is there envy? Why is there jealousy? Why? There will be no criminal activities. Look at our leadership. If the 
Let the creator put a love portion on the leadership. Huh? So that the leadership will not be selfish and only think about themselves and their families, but would actually lead the nation to its prosperity for the betterment of every single individual in the nation. If that's how it works, if that's what spirituality is about, put a love portion on the government. Put a love portion on the president. You have to do, right? You have powers. You have what you, you are the dawn in the area. You are the one everybody should run to. Okay, put a loud portion on the government. You understand? Let's, let's stop this ridiculousness. These are the reasons why people don't even appreciate, appreciate our ways. That's the reason why people don't even appreciate spirituality. Because of the wickedness of some of us, the leaders, some of us who are leading the front, some of us who are doing, because of our wickedness, that is why these things are happening. Nobody will put value onto what you have if you don't put value on yourself. Love portion. Can you imagine? I can't wait for somebody to say, oh, oh can you give me love portion? My boy will do so. My child will do so. I'm a love portion. You understand? Let's, let's, come on, let's apply wisdom just a little bit. Okay? If that's how the Creator wanted us to be, you wouldn't give us free will. For you to go after such things, you are going against everything nature and creation a mother represents. The mother doesn't put the last spell on anybody. You came into this existence free will. You've made your own choice. Oh, okay, you've been programmed. That is why even understanding spirituality is so difficult for you. You've been programmed anyway. That is the system putting the, putting the programming on you. You understand? So please, let's stay away from this. Spiritual leaders, my brothers, my sisters, my fathers, my mothers, we have a responsibility to teach the people the truth, to teach them to be on the right path. It's our responsibility to do these things. It is not their responsibility because the programming has gone on for too long and they are waiting for us to show them the truth, to teach them the truth. We are not the one that is to, to mess it up. We are not the ones that should mess this up. We are the ones that must teach them the truth, not to mess it up. If we are messing it up, what chance do they have? The church is deceiving them. The mocks is deceiving them. The, all the other places are deceiving them. We are the last hope. And if they come to us, see the foolishness we are doing. Love portions. We are putting love portions on people. Go and put this in people's food. Go and put this in people's this. Go and put this in people's this. Bring your love portions to me. I'll show you my house. Send me a DM. I'll show you my house. Bring your love portion to me. Jimmy Four. Use your head. Use wisdom. Spirituality is not for things like that. You understand what I'm saying? Spirituality is to build this nation. When we under, once we understand these things, we are to build this nation. We are to raise the flag of Africa, the motherland. We are to show the world why spirituality is the leading force. We are not to use it to destroy people. We are not to use it to shut down people. And it will surprise you, majority of people who are doing that are actually into the fraud, you know, the fraud activities. And one day, I, I will speak on this one day. I'll speak on this one day. Because they use that to charm people. When they see people on the internet, they to charm. You see the boys using the girls to charm. Now, question works. Fabra me, this is my boy, this is my I drew now by your wa. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't want to take much of your time. Have a great evening. I love you guys. Or great morning or great afternoon, anytime you get to watch this. The rains are coming. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Thank you, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for today's uh, spiritual diagnosis. Thank you so much, sir. It was so wonderful. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, my body. I'm just shaking. I'm just vibrating because I'm... Uh, I don't know how you could know so so much and when i say so much is like knowing so much deep down within somebody what is them uh, what is happening and then uh, the whole truth everything you just said is if there is if there is a way to say it is one million percent truth it is one million percent truth and my spirit and everything in my being accepted accepts it